you. Then I went over here. Deal with that. No. Good night. Hmm, hello, I'm Nimbo. World's biggest cloud. Hi, Nimbo. I assume you're the guy to talk to about weather related business. Mm, smart lizard, Nimbo Transform Nimbo Transform World, leak water stream below. Mm, but Nimbo has a problem. Not linking not leaking well right now. Nimbo's between a bag of nerves since wife left him for the typhoon. Try and relax, Nimbo. Think of a trickling waterfall or running tap. Mm, no good. Lizard and bat cause stage fright. Perhaps visitors can help provide some stimulation. Come on then, Daily. Let's help Nimbo release his water. As long as you wash your hands afterwards. Access to fire and ice. Doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. There's a wolf. Do anything. It's out. Hmm. That vapor went straight through. Nimbo. That turns the entire trackway into right, that make you look a bit, a bit annoyed. Yeah, that entire trackway is now flooded. Let's try with that ghost again. I'm not gonna suck on this plant. Nope. Water. I'll do anything but off a shot. It 
just turned yellow for a second there. Do I have to lure him into attacking his friends? Also all that way up there. I guess I'll just go away and see if they respawn after a second. Let's move back higher. Yeah, because of the last exit I went through. Okay. Looks like this is the only way there, though. Join the view? Nope, we've come to collect you. Free me and you'll have to free me you have to compete through this course by gliding through the hoops. Don't ask why it's the way they just do it's just the way they do things up in these altitudes. Good luck trying not to look. I can't fly. This is the way I should be doing this. We can just about to oh. don't like the year caught on the plants. I was getting caught on the plants just feels like one of those things that's entirely unnecessary. I don't even know why you'd have that. See if those guys have respawned yet. Yeah, they probably have. Everything else is respawning.
Oh, okay. I need these things to respawn at all. You guys could just fuck off, I guess. You just chased me for a second. I was overcomplicating that. Alright, um. That's that shite over there. I gotta say, I do love the, um. This music. This is pretty good music. Feels very Banjo Kazooie. I can't remember who the, um. Guy who writes the Banjo Kazooie music is. I think he did have a hand at the music for this game. It's over here. There's still this door over here. There we go. Camera, it's gone. Didn't just around me. This is. I just saw actually. At least it seems to be huh? Yeah, but I just saw. Who might you be? Howdy, stranger. My name is Kartos. Let me guess. The God of Ore? I have no idea what y'all be blabbering about, miss. My job is to ride the rails of them grand old tomes and bring them back gold. Though I have not seen much treasure in a long time, nobody cares for us minecart fellas no more. Sorry, what did you say? I wasn't paying attention. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you, Kartos. We're searching for pages. Do you think we'll find any on our on your tracks? You'll find plenty while y'all inside me, boy. There's gold in them there mine shafts. Say, how's about the old critters be my partner on a ride? Okay. Sure thing, Kartos, we'll give it a try. Oh boy, just like the old days. If y'all want to rustle yourselves a pagey, you'll be needing co to collect 50 gems on my tracks before y'all reach the end. Do you need to know the controls, Critters? Sure. Uh, A to jump, X to fire, and left stick to boost. I think that's 16. Yeah, nice one, partners. Rails after all these years made me feel like y'all, like a young minecart again. Uh, I think your dusty old cart has given me a rash. <laughs> thanks for showing me an old cart of a good. Thanks for showing an old cart a good time. Here's your pagey.
Oh yeah, can I eat those? No, not yet. But that is a thing I can do way later. I can absorb like the power of heavy or something. Okay, so there's one more spot then I can think to explore in the starting world. This is way too big for a starting world. New drop thing. I think I didn't see this though. Yeah, way too big for a starting world. It's me, the amazing health extender. Just to extend your health. Fair enough. So I want to go over here where the uh, skeleton girl is. Control now. Drawbacks have been expanded, which means new treasures are in sight. Alright. Hey, Shovel Knight. There's another game I need to get around to playing eventually. I did play the original game, but I've never played any of the DLCs. Blimey, check out this guy. Yuka. Greetings, adventurers. I am the one they call Shovel Knight. And I'm having an eventful day. Yeah, it's literally Shovel Knight. It's not like a lookalike. It seems like I have embarked on such a grand adventure that I've ended up in the wrong game. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, a lot of games are a lot of not necessarily indie, but a lot of indie and double A games. Where they have small studio games but not like mega company games. Did this whole thing where they started crossing over characters. I personally am not a fan of it. Like I get I I'm fine with it in something like Mario Kart or Smash Bros, those kinds of games. Because there was like some crossover fighting games, crossover like other things. But when like a dedicated game has crossover characters in it, it kind of feels very eh to me. It, it like it, what's it? It's very immersion breaking. It's like makes you very very aware that you're playing a game, and it's hard to get lost in anything. Like I am just aware that I'm, that there's like a, co a corporate connection between two companies as they like try to bolster each other and such. It's just very eh to me. I know um. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night also has Shovel Knight in it for some reason. That was, that was felt incorrect. That was that was probably worse in that game than it is here. Even though you, even in that game, Shovel Knight's just an enemy. Oh, it's just an enemy that happens to look like Shovel Knight. Here it's a full character, but in this game has got more of a trying to go for a more hum, humorous sort of meta approach anyway, so it doesn't feel as bad. But I really wish <laughs> fucking Yuko over there. Um. But uh, yeah, it's just not something I'm a fan of. There appears to be some alluring treasure hidden at the top of this temple. However, I'm having trouble reaching it. I haven't gotten used to this bizarre third dimension yet. Retrieve the giant jewel for me, and I'll reveal. I will re reveal to thou the secrets of succeeding in any adventure. Alright, your knightly, knightliness will find your jewel and make sure the payment is definitely page based. Excellent, excellent. Steal thy shovel, friends. I'll be waiting here for your safe returns. Basically, go this way. 
Good work, friends. You retrieved my jewel. Now bring it back here. Here you go, Shovel Knight. We recovered the jewel, Shovel Knight. Impressive. I can't wait to exchange it for piles of gold. Now, I promise. Now, as promised, here is the secret to inventoring success. All you need is a map, and the first for adventure. This guy's humour is as flat as his pixelated treasure. Yeah, it's kind of weird as well, crossing over with Shovel Knight. Just in general, like thematically wise. Because Shovel Knight is a very retro NES inspired game. To the point where the music in the um, in Shelf Light actually works on an original NES. I think that's everything I could do here, Jeff. Yeah, it, it's weird because uh, Shelf Light is such a retro inspired series. But this game kind of has like a bit of a weird thing when it comes to like retro stuff. Like it has that like Nintendo 64 uh, shader, which you, it, which. Uh, the tonic things. There's a few of those visual shaders. But especially with... Especially with the... Rex... Uh, Rextro, whatever his fucking name is. The game seems to have a bit of a... Um, not disdain. There's a general passive aggressiveness to retro-inspired games. I don't know why. So it just feels like a bit of like a... Just, just weird, like a double standard kind of thing. I don't think it was intentional. I will say, like, it seems like a sort of thing where they just thought it would be funny, but it just kind of comes across poorly. But yeah, didn't find, didn't find one of the ghosts. No, I, 
I know where the ghost is, but I need to be able to turn invisible to actually get the ghost. So that is everything I do here. Other than finding the pigs, but I can't be back for all the stuff for them. So I'm going to leave this. Oh, that we should. Hour, two hours and a half? Yeah. I've been in the first world. I'm not going to get started on the next world until next time. But you can see how I don't dislike this game as much as I, I'm complaining. I, I do like it. But it definitely has its um, flaws. But that'll do for now. Save. I love that that this this ukulele riff. That's a that's a fantastic bit of song, bit of music. But yeah, for now, I'll leave it there. I hope you had a good one, and I will catch you.